What's up guys, welcome to Sick ETV, and today I'm going to be showing you a video on how to set up your Samsung Galaxy S8 to look more like stock Android. Uh, in other words, it's going to resemble the Google Pixel phone and um, give you more of that uh, stock uh, feel rather than uh, extreme Samsung feel. And so far I've been liking this uh, setup that I've got. And what this involves uh, is having a launcher of your choice, whether it be the Pixel Launcher, Action Launcher. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to do this with Nova Launcher. Uh, you're going to need Package Disabler Pro, and you're going to need to download um, the Pixel theme from the Samsung theme store, and of course all your Google apps and um, icons and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and get started with the uh, first on the list and like I said you're gonna need these uh, requirements up top uh, like I said I'm using Nova Launcher, Package Disabled Pro and the Pixel Theme from the Theme Store so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into Nova Launcher and I'm gonna run through some quick settings on how to set up your Nova Launcher to feel more like the Pixel phone so let's go ahead and go to settings and I'm just gonna go down the list here um, as far as page indicator, I have none. Uh, this is the color that I have my uh, indicator when it is on there, the little arrow. Uh, we're going to go to app drawer and we're going to select swipe to open. Uh, card background, uh, my background is white and my scroll accent color is going to be blue. And what this does is when you swipe up, you got your side indicator, which is blue, and it gives you that card look to it. And like I said, we adjust, we did that swipe up effect to open the app drawer. So that is how it is on the Google Pixel. So as far as the dock goes, we're going to go to dock background. And right now I have my transparency at 83, and my color is at white. And what this does is gives you that little white background behind your dock icons to uh, simulate the Google Pixel. And as far as your icons go, uh, it's pretty simple. Mine aren't too big because I don't like big icons. They're a uh, pretty good size. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to your folders and we're going to choose the grid style. And for the background, you're going to choose Pixel Launcher. And as far as look and feel, um, like I said, I'll post links down below as far as uh, what icon pack I'm using. And of course, all your Google apps that you would need um, and widgets and stuff like that. So right now I'm using the Pixel icon pack that I got from the market. And I really like this icon pack a lot. It's got a lot of choices for customization. As far as little things, uh, animation speed, I'm at 5. And it seems to be running pretty well there. Uh, as far as gestures and inputs go, uh, these are my settings. I have swipe up for app drawer, swipe down for expand notifications, double tap for settings, and etc. Uh, let's see... As far as that, I think that's pretty much it as far as setting it up to feel more like stock Android. Everything else is downloading wallpapers and setting your icons to uh, make it feel like that. And the widget I'm using up top is called uh, the Pixel Widget. And I found this on the market on theme store so let's go ahead and go to that and pixel widgets and I really like this widget it gives you options to uh, do weather uh, you could change the Google icon to your liking it gives you options to do weather or clock which is nice and it gives you a lot of options and it looks a lot better than the one that comes with the uh, Nova launcher that's just my opinion so I've been using that for a while and I really enjoy it uh, like I said I'll post uh, links down below uh, now that we got that out of the way 
uh, we'll go back to package disabler later next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna download your Google Apps and right now I'm using uh, Google messaging so let's go ahead and go to the pick to Play Store and you can just search Google I'm just gonna run through them real quick right now I'm using Google Chrome which I think came installed on my s8 uh, we're gonna scroll down here I'm also using of course Gmail I'm using Gboard if I could find that down here uh, Android messages uh, this is fairly new to me I'm using this as well to replace the Samsung messaging and I'm really enjoying it it's very nice it's very sleek and simple and so far it's been working really well for me so you're gonna want to download that of course you could download or use any messages of your liking uh, these are just mine that I'm using right now uh, I downloaded Google clock of course which is replacing my Samsung clock uh, the calendar calculator is which is replacing my Samsung and I also downloaded my calendar and as far as Gboard goes you can download Gboard and that's what I'm using to replace my Samsung keyboard and I really like this keyboard a lot if you're typing and you say um, say you want to type yay it'll give you a gif option to uh, install gifs which is really really cool feature and I really enjoy using that a lot so it's a really nice keyboard it gives you the stock Android feel so uh, like I said you're gonna download all of your Google apps that you use Google Calendar and all of these Google apps are gonna replace your Samsung apps so let's go ahead and go back to our checklist and once you download all those, all those apps it's gonna ask you to set default and you're gonna want to set them as default so next thing we're gonna check out is the pixel theme from the Samsung theme store so we're gonna go to the theme store go to your themes and we're gonna type in pixel themes and there's a lot of different uh, themes you could download here some of them are free some of them you have to pay I just went ahead and got the uh, simplest one and this does it as far as changing everything so I'm okay with that this is the one I'm using by M-I-N-U and it's free and it changes everything as far as your dialer goes your notifications your uh, toggles and stuff like that and like I said you have a whole bunch of different options as far as which one you would like to download it's completely up to you this is just the one that I'm using so next thing we're gonna go through now we got that out of the way um, I decided to take it a step further and disable um, all of my Samsung apps so let me go ahead and show you which apps I have disabled and this is package disabler pro and if you don't already have this set up uh, I'll post a link down below to my video showing you how to set that up um, just to uh, help you guys out now these are all the apps that I have disabled from uh, from Samsung and I think it makes the phone run a bit more snappier as well too I disabled all of the Bixby stuff uh, I disabled my calculator calendar my clock uh, email of course my TouchWiz launcher lookout because that just got annoying I disabled messages and Samsung Internet and I replaced all of these with Google uh, apps so this will make your phone feel a lot more uh, like a pixel phone and so far I have not had any issues as far as how things are running so as far as that goes this is the uh, widget for your calendar I have a uh, Google Play Music on there and as far as the settings go it changes everything to white and it's really really nice another thing you could do is you could change your toggles up here to uh, 
to three and going across and that makes it a little bit more uh, bigger sort of to almost resemble the uh, Google Pixel uh, icons up top and that's what I've done there I put my brightness took it off it shows on top that comes default I turn that off that way when you scroll down all you get are your notifications gives it more of a cleaner look so that is pretty much it guys let me show you some of the quick options sorry about that as far as the uh, pixel widget goes and let's go ahead and show you some of the options you could get with that uh, right here it gives you the option to change your logo to any one of these I have the regular pill version you could change your degrees units uh, select the city overlay pixel widget and stuff like that and then once you're done you're gonna hit add widgets let's go ahead and add city really quick and you're gonna add your widget and of course when you're done you're gonna resize and that is it so you could have the date or you could have the weather and uh, it's really nice options it gives you more options rather than using the one that comes with Nova Launcher and as far as my main widget I have I'm using HD widgets and you could also get that from the market and there's a lot of uh, customization you could do as far as that goes so this is my home screen how it looks this is a setup that I've got uh, this is my lock screen that I have and this like I said this came with the uh, with the theme so that is pretty much it guys uh, thank you for watching and hope you enjoy this video on how to make your Samsung Galaxy S8 feel more stock Android and look uh, more like the Google Pixel so be sure to give me a thumbs up uh, be sure to subscribe and thank you guys for watching I'll see you guys in the next one